Number 207 in the imprint range is Jacob's Ladder from 1990. This has always been a favourite of mine. I just love the film, but I can understand people that don't quite attune to it. It is a movie that is always trying to make you uncomfortable, always trying to put you in the back foot. It's one that the message, I think, is pretty clear, and once you get it, it makes everything just click into place. Jacob's Ladder is all about our main character of Jacob, a man who's in the war at the start of this one. Uh, their platoon is attacked. He sees some crazy stuff going on. Everything just breaks down and then he is stabbed. And throughout the movie, we're constantly going back to him being rescued from this situation. We see him in his current day where he works in a post sorting office and he's starting to have a breakdown. His body is failing him, hurting, aching. His mental faculties are starting to lose it as he's seeing these strange and weird images all around him. These distorted, demon-looking creatures, strange, ethereal creatures that are tormenting him. He feels worn down and he's struggling to deal with everything mentally. It's a wonderful uh, performance by Tim Robbins. Anybody in there? Anybody home? Who are you? The basic story uh, of Jacob's Ladder is easy to attune to, but the way it's delivered, the way you visually see it is an assault on the senses, and it's meant to be that way. As we see Jacob flirt between two various worlds, one where he is with his wife and his kids are alive and he's having a, a family life that is rewarding, and another where he is uh, separated from his wife, one of his kids is dead, he's living with a girlfriend and that world has its own kind of good points, bad points, making the series vying throughout the film as they become merged and twisted and everything kind of intermingles throughout it. Oh God, I, I thought I was the only one. Yeah, me too. I thought I was going out of my fucking mind. I know, I know. I don't want to give away what Jacob's Ladder actually is. Because if you haven't seen it, I think it's a wholly rewarding experience and a really haunting horror movie. The kind of thing that would be given that oh, horrible moniker of elevated horror these days. Back then, this was a kind of thriller, but it's a straight out horror movie. The religious symbolism all the way through it is more than apparent. In fact, it's actually the plot, the whole idea of the film is laid out by one character, Danny Aiello, later on as he just tells you what is actually happening, which is a wonderful stroke, uh, re removing any kind of duality that the movie may have, which just somehow makes it better in my book. Normally, I love the ambiguity of trying to figure out uh, some of the thematics, what's really going on, but here they just tell you in this character and I really like it in this one because of how just on nose it is. And like I said, it's very religious from the idea of Jacob's ladder, which is a character in the Bible who had a dream of a ladder to heaven. We have these vying images of people who could maybe look like angels, people who could maybe be demons. This world that is twisting and turning with little hints of Lovecraftian monsters in it as well. There's a fantastic sequence um, where we're watching uh, Jacob as he has a meltdown on a dance floor while watching this twisting creature dance, manipulate and assault his girlfriend and his mind just fractures at the sight of this. I love Jacob's Ladder. I love it because it's so twisted and different, because it's so assured in what it's doing, because it knows the kind of movie it wants to be and it achieves it. Adrian Lynn, for me, this is his best movie. It's not padded out, it's not um, there just for the sake of it. It doesn't have these extra characters that don't make sense. Everything is working so well together to create an absolute piece of art. This is wonderful. Jacob's Ladder is a terrific film and highly recommended if you haven't seen it. I really wish I could go into more about that, uh, the idea and the kind of actual story behind this one because I think it's fascinating and so well done, but I don't want to spoil it for anyone that hasn't seen it. Check it out. You will love it. 
But let's dive into the extras for Jacob's Ladder and see what it has to offer. So here we are, Jacob's Ladder. And the special features, you'll see we've got a commentary with Adrian Lynn, and then we have a commentary with the film historian and host of the projection booth, Mike White. We have Building Jacob's Ladder, which is 26 minutes 29, which is a fantastic feature eight. I thought it was going to be my favourite of the disc, looking at the subversive way the film was made. Uh, we get three additional scenes, which total 13 minutes 25 seconds, and we have them with commentary by director Adrian Lynn. We have archival interviews uh, with Adrian Lynn, which is 7 minutes 16, with Tim Robin, which is 7 minutes 54, and with Elizabeth Pena, which is 7 minutes 3 seconds. These are all done by the same interviewer, um, probably on a junket day. They're, they're, they're fine, nice additions. Then we're on to the new additions for this disc. We have Prepare the Way, interview with the screenwriter, which is... 20 minutes 29 seconds and talks about him dabbling with LSD which is just great it just kind of adds to the ethereal nature of the film and the way he talks is just wonderful where is the ladder the locations of Jacob's ladder which is 17 minutes 23 and is actually a pretty good um, location scouting uh, with a, a presenter which I always appreciate Hidden in Plain Sight, Spirituality in Jacob's Ladder, video essay by Alexandra Heller Nicholas. Now, this was my favourite extra on the disc. I love this. She's tying it into the religion aspect, the kind of aspect that you see within the movie itself as well. And then we have Something's Wrong With My Head, Vietnam War Trauma in Jacob's Ladder, a video essay by film historian Joss Nelson. Now, I really like this one. 29 minutes, 43 seconds, because it focuses on the war aspect of the movie and the psychological scarring that that can bring and it's something that's never really talked about because they focus more on the horror aspect of the film which was great there's also the theatrical teaser and the theatrical trailer and that's the extras for Jacob's Ladder so there we go Jacob's Ladder absolutely must own terrific movie fantastic uh, one of those ones that just stands the test of time I hear there was a remake I have no interest uh, no interest in it at all because when the movie's as perfect as that why the hell remake it remake something that's kind of crappy uh, but had a good idea behind it and fix some of the things don't remake great movies the movie's already great what can you do better than it nothing I guess I would love to know your thoughts on Jacob's Ladder if you've seen it. Let me know in the comment box below whether you loved it, hated it, kind of fell somewhere in the middle and why. I think it's good to get a varied response on this one, so I'd love to know your opinion. And I'll have a little read when you're down there. While you're down there, just hit the thumbs up because it really helps these videos. There's more content up here where you can see more of my stuff and in the description box below this video, there are links to the Patreon, the membership programme and manvfilm.com, always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.